learned your sway, your super duper class. There's nothing left to say, but Conrad, you're a guest.
get the money to pay Conrad's guarantees, and, and as soon as I'm out of the red, I'll dissolve the company and, and go back to the academic life. Albert, you're wrong! Of course, it may take a while, but I'm sure that by 1973 or 74, what, what's that? Something that's going to push that date up a few years. Pick a name. What name? What are you talking about? All right, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Kim Matheson, President, Reporting Secretary, Comrade Bernie Matheson, number 2748, Sweet Apple, Ohio. Hmm. Uh, Mary, get me Sweet Apple, Ohio. The number is capital 78820. And then call me right back. Uh, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Who's Kim, whatever the name is? Kim Matthew Albers is what's going to send you back to college with the biggest hit song this business has ever seen. It's called, uh, One Last Kiss. I never heard of it. Well, you haven't written it yet. Oh, but when you do it, when that one last kiss is from Conrad Wood, I think I was into the big cold army for two long years. And when that kiss is one of his fans, Chosen at random from 1,200,000 hysterical teenagers, why it would make Mr. Bernie the hot soldier of the Jonah Bob. Rose, I'm beginning to see it. We cut the record here in New York. I'll take that crazy mongrel playing card to the sweet apple. Let me kiss the kid. Let me kiss the record. Oh, Albert, you'll make enough money to stay in college the rest of your life. Oh, Rose, it's wonderful. I promise you, uh, as soon as this thing is settled, there'll be just a two of us. Perfect bliss. Well, I'll get a job teaching English, and you can kiss, kiss, in the eyes. I wonder if anyone's ever used it before. But what difference does it make? It'll be great for the song. Oh, one last kiss? It gives so much bliss? What is your dental kiss? No, no, that's too clinical.
a call for you. The operator said she's been trying to get through for nearly three quarters of an hour. Thank you, Doris. I'll take it down there. You know, she said it was long distance, but I can't imagine who. What did you say? I said thank you, Doris. Harry, she called me Doris. There's no need to be upset. It's mine to call your mother by a first name. Okay. Makes mother and daughter more like pop. And your father? I'll call him Harry, naturally. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, I think Harry's thinks about you and I awfully well. Don't you, Doris? Yes, it's a she. I don't know. Yesterday I was a mother. Today I'm a pal. Yeah. How would you like to call me mom? That's modern. I'm sorry, but times are changing. You've got to go along with them and be left behind with the old folks. Oh, then you got a cigarette. Let's run out. Oh, you. Yeah. I'm not an old man. I was 18 in World War II. Thank you. 
Rose Nazareth? <gasps> Rose, what happened? You had a sudden shock or something. Excuse me, I think I'll go see his comrades here. Oh, you old bitty Miss Alvarez. Oh, look at us, Sonny. How nice he looks. It's a wonder to meet some older man that doesn't snatch her up. A personable face with my death is strange and a few dollars. <laughs> what a catch you'd be for a convalescent. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Rosa. Goodbye, May. Call me Mrs. Peterson. Mama, what I wanted to talk to you about is sort of about Rosa. Maybe you better sit down. Why? I know my son, eh? He loves his mama. He's not going to say anything that would break her heart. Go ahead, dear. What about Rosa? Well, it, it's sort of about you, too. Lou, where are you, Lou? Dropped down by old Beverly Jacobson faithfully for 32 years. What about you? Well, Mama, Rose thinks, and I agree, that I should give up L.A. Lou. Oh, oh. Mama, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. You killed me, that's all. Lou, I'm coming. I'm on my way up. Mama, you're so sad. It's just that Rose thought, I, I mean, I thought, I mean, I, look, Mama, here's some money. I want you to take a taxi home. The subway's are too crowded. Nothing's too crowded for a mother. I mean, after all. <laughs> I go during the rush hour. That's the worst time. Wait a minute. How many blocks is it, after all? Only a hundred and seven. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is this the way you want 75 million Americans to see you? What are you talking about? We are all going to be on television with Conrad. On television? That's right. I just got the confirmation from New York, from Ed Sullivan himself. You mean we're going to be on the Sullivan Show? The Ed Sullivan Sullivan Show? That's right. They're going to put it on Sweet Apple this Sunday night at 8.05. And you're all going to be on. That's why I bet you to put aside off any differences. Look at that great audience out there. Why, you're an American dream come true. For the free world's sake, Mr. Mack, don't destroy that dream. Me on the Ed Sullivan Show? Ed Sullivan. Me, Harry McAfee, of Great British. Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan. Ed
Dear mom, this is to let you know that all they know is this song. Your friend, Amber. All they know is this song. This song means. And anyway, a sick old woman probably won't last the night. <coughs> I just want to say this with one word called on it. Albert mother has no power of liberty to get me to the final resting place. I'll talk. Oh, Mama. Tell that Spanish friend of yours I forgive her. She knows not what she does. It. Mama, Rose is right here. Oh, this is Rose. I can't believe it. She looks like Margo. <laughs> Took her out of shame with Ma. For all sake, Sonny, send her back to bed. And don't worry about the secretary. It so happens I met on the bus a perfect secretary. A wonderful, refined girl on her way to Akron. Only I'm afraid to get off here. Sonny, say hello to Gloria Rescue. Hiya. Say, you're cute. But Mama, I, I don't need a secretary. I am Rosie. What does Rosie need a job for? In a year or two, she'll be getting social security. <laughs> well, listen, I look just tired. Oh, you uh, do other things? Yeah. I can't dance. See, I thought I'd tell you that. Secretary stuff. And you can help me get into shelter. Hold it, honey. Meg, can you help Sly River? It's my favorite selection. You love this app? <laughs> Way down on the pond, it's one river. Far, far away. There's where my heart is standing ever. There's where the old folks stay.
me for God. You go ask me, buddy. I never want to speak to you again. I demand to know who's responsible for this. Who let that kid in here? I did, Albert. Rose? It's a kind of a farewell present for you and Miss Rasky. I'm well, you go to heaven. You come back here, Rosie. You can't leave me here alone. Well, you're not alone, Albert. You're on television. Oh. <laughs> For he's a fine, upstanding king. Thank you. 
except maybe Albert Schweitzer, and I'm not his type. Oh, they're all the same, from, from puberty to senility, from Benedict Arnold to most so angry. I never understood why he referred to Derry Kim in the first place. Egotistical, selfish human beast. Then why do we call him into do? Huge, then. Dare to think 
puberty in front of your own father? <laughs> Not to mention it was a lady. Dora, we failed as parents. Uh, I never asked for much of my children. Just respect. A little respect. That's all I asked for. Respect. But did I get respect? I did not get respect. I got no respect. I respect you, Paul. I don't want your respect. <laughs> You're a child. What good is respect from a child? Doris, take me upstairs. I'm not a well man. <laughs> Certain words I did not want to hear in this house. Puberty was the first. Mussolini was the second. And respect was the third. Now look here, Mr. Lewis. No three-cent reporter can bulldoze me. I happen to be Albert J. Peterson. And you can print that in whatever cheap paper you happen to represent. Is it not a paper? It's a magazine? And, and it's not Mr. Lewis? It's Mr. Loose? Oh, Rosie. Rosie, I need you. Oh, no. Jenny boy, where are you going? No, Miss Mama. Just out. It's kind of stuck in here, so I thought I'd just... Look for Rosie, Mama. I love her and I, I want her back. It's at all. I thought it was something serious. Despite all these sunny, find your lady of Spain and bring her back here. Oh, and by the way, dear, when you get back, be sure to stop in the kitchen. Take my head out of the oven and turn it off again. <laughs>
hate you, there it is. What is it? Give it to me. <laughs>
Oh, Rose, you've got to help me find Conrad. Oh, and that's probably the beginning of From now on, guys, the limit. Party. Ball. Dancing. The girl, Albert, you name it. I'm a polar. I'm a polar. Hey, what's going on in there? No business of yours, lady. That's a private meeting.
you do me a favor? Would you go back in there and get you some great alcohol to go? Oh, not for a million, though! And he is sober, and it's my whole world's collapsing. I can't get his drink and Kim brought off with Conrad at the ice house. Kim and Conrad? Oh, oh, Albert, I've got to go down to see you. You go, uh, you just sit right here, okay?
girl went off with Ron Bradford to the movies. Great double bill of nice. Flying down the Rio and green. Gosh, I'll always remember that great cast. Dolores Del Rio. And Dean Raymond. And what a score. I'd forgotten that. Hey, Rio. Rio by the sea. Flying down the Rio where the thrill is. Trophy, where you been? I've been looking for you all night. And I've got great news for you, Rose. Get it. I sent Mama home. And I'm a new man, Rose. A world leader. Albert Kim and Conrad have gone to the ice house. The ice house? The ice house? Doris, call the men of police. Call Mr. Keene, chaser of lost persons. Call the shadow. Look him up under Lamont Cranston. <laughs>
by tomorrow evening, I'll be able to call. Oh, don't say it, Rose. I'll be able to call Mother. Ooh, the cruelest word I ever heard. <laughs> to think I would live to see the day when I'd have relatives in El Salvador. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Everyone out here. Walk. Now, point that upwards. Shut up and get on the train. I took every cent I had to bail you out and not to be seen until we're out of this state. Now, get aboard. Now, look, buddy boy, you saved my life. And whether you pay me no guarantee or not, you have a contract with me for life. Oh, Conrad, what do you say? Oh, Albert! 